And now we have Ben with us, and he has brought his lovely mother as well. Both big supporters of Camp K. Ben been, has been involved in it for several years now. But I want to start with your mom, since ladies first, and since she's holding the <laughs> microphone. I, I want to go backwards when Ben first got involved with Camp K. So there's a time when he doesn't probably even know about it, right? Yeah, and then, he was eight the first time he came. Okay. And so what did, I'm curious, when he was eight years old, what, what kind of changes did you see right away that you would maybe attribute to Camp K? It was the the first summer I sent men, it was hard for me because there are not a lot of things for kids with special needs out right. there. Right. And sending my special needs child off to camp, first of all, is hard. But just the independence he got when he came back because he'd spent the whole week with kids that were like him that had disabilities too, that had the same struggles, that had similar health problems. It was like he found a, a posse of people that got him. So coming home and every summer he had some health issues so he wasn't able to go for a couple summers right. and it was detrimental to him because this was home. There were people up here that got him. There's not a place on the camp he can't get to. He doesn't have to ask people to you know, make it accessible for right. him, it already is. And, and and as a parent, and I have a child that's 30 and 27, they, they, you never stop being a parent, so it doesn't matter. But as you watch Ben during those early years, you had to also be thinking, hey, someday he's going to be an adult, and and maybe he has some limitations there. How did how did Camp K help with that? To, to you know, in the sense of saying, wow, there's going to be some things that he can do. When I was so worried that maybe he couldn't do. Oh yeah, it was very empowering for both of us because there, as a mom, you do worry. Okay? You know, what exactly are his limitations going to be? What is the world going to look like? So him being able to come up to Camp K and, and find one place that he can maneuver and help empower me, it was like, okay, Ben's going to be okay when he grows up because he knows there are areas out there. And the fact that for him, this is like a second home. Um, he really, it's been very empowering for him. And Ben, while well, your mom hands you the microphone, asking you a question, I'm curious as you yours growth because you've got, I met you. You were what, what maybe 18, 19, 17 ish when we first met. About 18. About 18, and now and, and I'm just curious. And over the last four or five years, Camp K has gone from a place you went to to a place you actually work. So explain that to people. So going from a place I used to hang out at to contributing is something I've wanted to do for my whole life. Being different. Trying to get out there wasn't easy, knowing that there's a place that not only contributes, that has people that help them introduce them into the real world right. is really cool. And I felt I should be a part of that. Right. I wanted to prove that knowing that you're different, it's not going to stop you as long as you have the heart and the mindset to get it done. How is this summer different than other summers? Because I mean, we can't, maybe we should stop talking about it, but we can't stop talking about COVID and coronavirus and what it has hindered and what, what we've gotten through. But how has that been for you? Has, has it been a struggle? Has it been? It's it's definitely been a struggle. It's taken stuff from me, but not enough to really upset my whole year until a few months back I had read an article or kind of read an article of how the camp, my home, was going to be shut down this summer. And my year won't be made without this place. And... After I read the article, I went to my room and I cried for hours. I, I wasn't myself. And then I got word that the camp was going to be open and I did everything in my power. I asked, I talked to people, I figured out a way to, I could come back and enjoy one more year to the best of my ability while I have the, while, while I can. Yeah. And to, and to help out. So were you up here just... You know, were you up here for a week, a couple of weeks, helping out? How uh, in what capacity? Four weeks, roughly. Okay. I was up here helping kids. I uh, interact with them, kind of just doing stuff, swimming, right. uh, treasure hunts, fun stuff like that. And knowing that there there still is heart here right now, but the true heart's not. The the vibe like when you walk through the bridge. You're not walking into a campground. You're not walking into another place. That you're walking into a home, a family. People are willing to stick out for you and be there for one another. Yeah. I've never found another place like that. Yeah. And they really this year, too, because to get it even open, the things that they had to go through, the hoops they had to jump through, the concern and the care just to get all, all that going. So what about your future plans, Ben? What, what's, what's on your slate? 
Uh, future plans, honestly, I still want to take over the camp one day myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> honestly, I think that would be really cool to one day not only be there, but to prove I was in their shoes, uh, in their, their position. Right. I was a camper, and now, for say in the future, I'm in control. Right. That will help the world and people that are different show that no matter what you can do, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. No. I had, I wouldn't have that joint so I could hear that. Cause, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I he, guess, had, yeah. he, he was just he was just yeah. he was just jonesing for a hat there. I did, so if I um, say something nice, I, this, I, what's going on here? I didn't say something is nice. This like, his absolute favorite hat. Like I'm not kidding. You. He right. threatened to pulverize somebody. And and and, and, and Merchant wants to see a new one. Okay, I see how it's going. All right. <laughs> so as as he goes into this adulthood and Camp K, I'm just curious your your thoughts as he's trying to you know making his way as an he, adult. He very much wants to be uh, be Mircha. He wants to fill Mircha's shoes. It's the only place Don't we on all? the blue Don't right. We all? Right? And be as adorable as Mircha is, oh, too. Oh, yeah. And that, too. Yeah. And as good looking, um, right. you know, and as smart. It's, it's a long it's, line. Vince, he's, I mean, he's applied for jobs and he's, you know, he's worked a couple different places, but none he's ever fit quite like he fits here. And right. he very much wants to do what he needs to do. He'd like to be here forever. Yeah. Well, that's, there's not, that's not a bad goal at all. No. I mean, if you're going to work somewhere or be part of something, this is definitely uh, the place to be, that's for sure. Well, we want to thank both of you for taking time to share your story and, and to share and open up your heart uh, as well. As you know, and as everyone's been watching your story, Camp K is really about providing opportunities. It's about changing lives, which has happened to you. Um, and so we want to show you a video right here um, about... Um, Oregon, I should say, Oregon Transplant uh, Camp Part 1. We're going to have three parts to this. We'll show you this video, and then we'll be right back. Camp Castopolis for the last 50 years has grown year over year and the last five, six years we've just seen a tremendous growth at Camp Castopolis and facilities. We serve children, teenagers and adults with special needs and disabilities. We do all those things through a lot of different programs and games and activities such as canoeing or climbing walls ropes courses, horseback riding, swimming, fishing, lots and lots of field games. And then, of course, self-expression is very important. So there's a lot of arts and crafts activities, music, drama, talent shows. This week at Camp K, we're hosting Oregon Transplant Camp. Are you excited? Yeah, I just got my transplant last year, second transplant. What was your transplant? Uh, kidney. Kidney? You feel much better now? Yeah, yeah, a lot better. Being here at Camp K, bringing them together, gives them the opportunity to understand that they're not alone. There are other people that share the same feelings, experiences, the same challenges that they have, and that gives them a sense of comfort. What's fun about Camp K? Um, like meeting new friends. You having fun at Camp K? Oh, heck yeah, I love Camp K. This is my sixth year at Camp K. Sixth year? Wow. Why do you keep coming back? Uh, it's just nice to be able to relate with people. Giving somebody the opportunity to continue their life when it seems like they would not have that chance otherwise, it really makes an impact. And when you listen to their stories, you know, some of them are just so incredible. How many years have you come here? I think it's been like four or five. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why do you keep coming back? Um, because it's... Because um, it's the best. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> wow! It's really fun? Uh -huh. You get out of the I actually get it. Feel, feel welcome. You feel welcome? Yeah. Why? What makes you not feel welcomed outside of the camp? We have, like, different, like, like heart transplants or any transplant. It feels like you're, you're, you're like, the only one. It feels like you're the You feel like an outsider sometimes? Yeah. And here you don't because everybody is, right? Yeah, yeah and you feel like you belong here.